Hey everyone, Derek here from Wayscript. In this video, let's talk about how we can make a crude inventory management bot that will automatically notify us when our stock is running too low. We'll do this using Slack and SQL. Let's get started. Let's take a look at our finished example first. On our finished example, we have a form that allows us to create entries into a MySQL database. We'll be using this as a crude inventory tracker. So if we produce 50 of the product A, we'll put in 50 of A. If we sell 50 of the product A, we can put in negative 50 and then submit our form. The finished example will run every hour. And whenever it runs, if we have a negative amount, so a negative sum, we have a negative sum here in product A, we get a Slack notification and we can go and check that Slack notification out. We get an inventory is low message from our Slack bot and tells us which amounts are low. So let's get started building this. Go ahead and log in or sign up for Wayscript if you haven't already done so. And then we'll click on create a new script. I'll call this one SQL inventory Slack bot. And then we'll click create. We can build that crude inventory movement form with just a few steps. We'll create it as a second function. So we'll click on this X to create function one. The trigger that we'll use for this will be the form trigger. This will allow us to specify inputs from a user so we know if we're taking goods away or if we're putting more goods in. Let's call this movement form. And we'll have two elements. So we'll click on add a form element. The first one will be the product. So this will be a selector field with the three options available of product A, B, and C. The second form element is how much of that good we're moving. So let's say movement amount, and we'll leave this one as a text input. Ideally, we want people putting in numbers for this, but text input will work just fine. Now that we have this form, we'll leave it off for now, and we'll click off. Next, we'll drag in the SQL module so we can put this movement information into our database. The first time you use your database on Wayscript, you'll have to link it. You can do that by going up here and clicking on add an account. Mine is a MySQL database and I'll go grab all of this information. Once you have all of this information in, we'll click on submit at the bottom. Now let's do a query for all matching rows and we'll edit our code. And we see that I only have one entry in this table, uh, product A with a negative 30 movement. This step was just to verify that you've connected your database. We're not doing a query here, we're doing an insert. So we'll get rid of this code, insert into production log. My two columns are product and quantity. The values that we want to put in will be the form values. So we'll take input one and we'll drag this in from the bottom. That's a string, so we'll surround it in quotation marks. And then input two doesn't have a value right now because we haven't filled out that form, but this will be a number. So we'll insert it like that. Now let's click on done editing. We'll turn on our form and let's see our crude inventory management system in action. We'll click on view form and let's say that we're adding 50 of product B. We'll click on submit. Back on Wayscript, we see that our SQL Slack bot ran because our form trigger was activated and we executed the one insert statement into our MySQL database. Now we're able to very quickly create entries into our MySQL database using the Wayscript form. Now that we have this, let's see how we can create a Slack notification if any of our inventory goods fall below zero. To do this, we need to pull this information from our MySQL database. So we'll drag in another SQL module, drop it into our workflow, and select the database that we just added. From here, we'll select all from our production log table. We'll run this code and we get back all of those entries in our MySQL database. Now that we have access to this information, let's import it. Let's import it and rename each one. So we'll do products and then let's import the last one and say this is movement. You'll notice that once we import these, we can work with these as variables down at the bottom left. We'll click on done editing. Now that we have this information, we just need a quick way to analyze it to see if the sum of any of those columns is below zero. The programming language that I think is the quickest to do this is Python, so I'll use it here. 
but feel free to use any of the other programming logic that we have available. I'm just the most comfortable with Python, so I'll pull it in. I've already typed up some Python code to do this for us as well. We'll click on Edit Code, and then I'll go pull the code from our GitHub repository of code snippets. I'll be sure to link this in the description below if you would want to use the same thing. So I'll take all of this and we'll paste it here. What's happening in this code is we're just pulling in the variables that we've established here. Therefore, we need to make sure that all of these names are the same. So serial number matches, products needs to have an S, so we'll add an S here, and then movement. So these will reference these values down here. Once we have those, we can use them in our Python script as whatever we call them. So now we're creating a data frame with this information and we're just doing a sum on each of the columns. Once we run it, we see that we've created more variables down here at the bottom using these statements, which are just the summations of these columns. So now we have the summation of product A, B, and C. We see that product A is negative, so let's see how we can notify ourselves using Slack. There's a couple of different ways to do this, but how I chose to do it was to use an if statement. So we'll pull that in. And what we want to say is if our product A sum is less than zero, we'll add a condition, which is an or statement. If our product B sum is less than zero, or if our product C sum is less than zero. So all we're saying is that if any of these summations are lower than zero, then do this action in this workflow. We'll click off of that. And now we just need to pull in our Slack integration. There's other integrations that we could use here, not just Slack, but we'll use Slack for this tutorial. We'll click on add an account and authorize access to our Slack account. We'll choose the channel and we'll click allow. Now all we need to do is to create the message that we want. So we'll drag up product A sum, product B sum, and product C sum. We'll name our bot, inventory bot, and then we'll click off. So now anytime this workflow is triggered, we'll have Python code that will automatically detect if any of your columns in your MySQL database are summed below zero. But the problem right now is that we're not triggering this workflow. For this example, let's trigger this every hour. So we'll go up and click time trigger, and then we'll run it every hour. Remember that we will only get a message if any of these statements are true. If none of those statements are true, then the else applies and nothing happens. Now we'll turn this on. We could set and let this run, or we can go ahead and view the finished product by clicking on run main. We'll open up Slack. And viewing Slack, since we had a product is below 30, then it gave us a notification. Let's see what happens when we go back to that form and say that we produce 50 new product A's. Let's go and access that form. So we'll click on form trigger and go back to this URL. Once here, let's say, once here, like I said, let's say that we've produced 50 new product A. If we go back to Wayscript and run our workflow again, and then go back to Slack, we see that we don't have a message because our inventory is now greater than zero. And that's it for this one. It's a very crude inventory management system, but I hope it shows you how you can start fleshing out your own using Wayscript. If you have any questions or comments, as always, please let us know. Until next time.